It wasn't racist. There wasn't a race even connotation. Let me tell you what happened. I went to a coffee place, and it was a, a, like a cool indie coffee. I don't like Starbucks anymore, because you go there, and they, they don't care anymore. They just press a button, and some old lady's diarrhea comes out, and they just give it to you. <laughs> so I go to like a young people cool coffee place with like my band's playing notices on the walls, and it's called like the howling do whatever thing, and the dude behind the counter's got a tight t-shirt and a ponytail, and he's like, hey, what's up, man? And I was like, hey, can I get a cappuccino? And he's like, yeah, right on, totally. Like, he's amazed that he could help me. Like, oh, yeah, I got all this stuff right here. That's awesome. And so he starts making my coffee just so, he worked so hard. He ground the beans just for the, that one cup and put them in the thing and tamped them with this old thing and you click, clack, and click, and, and then he took the milk and he frothed it like for all, like an hour. And then he banged it on the counter. I don't know why, it was awesome. And he scooped it in and put a little cocoa on it. And he's like, here you go, man. And I was just blown away. And for some reason, as I left there, the thought in my head was, that nigger made the shit out of my coffee. <laughs> I don't know why. He wasn't black. That's just what was in my heart for some reason. Was that nigger made the shit out of my coffee? I don't know.